Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to remove echo from dialogue in Adobe Audition CC. Okay, here we are in Adobe Audition, and here is a podcast with less than perfect recording environment. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to brick. Okay, so it's not bad but it's not perfect. It could be better. It's recorded in a room, hardly any sound treatment in there. You can definitely hear the reflections, the echo coming back, uh, especially here. Pop out, pop out. Let's zoom right in on that. There's our echo. Now, there are a number of ways to do this, uh, ranging from hard to easy. Uh, easy is just one click effect from zero to 100%. I will show you that at the end of the video, because first of all, I think it's important to know some of the tools in your toolkit to make echo disappear uh, using traditional methods like EQ and a little bit of noise gating and possibly downward expansion. Don't worry, by the end of the video, you'll know how these all work. So let's start with EQ because this is a great easy win to remove those nasty frequencies that are causing the echo in your recording. Let's go into effects. Let's go into filter and EQ. Let's go for parametric equalizer here. And on the default, it's just a flat line. Now we can take all of these curves and notch them up. Uh, but of course, they're rather broad and we want to be nice and tight so we can scan through frequencies and pull out frequencies that we can hear the echo occurring in. So we're going to make this smaller by changing the Q width to 16. There we go. Now we got a little notch and I'll show you how this works. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial. So we're essentially scanning through the audio and we're going and what we're listening out for is a particular frequency where you can hear the echo. You'll hear it in your headphones and I suggest you use headphones when doing this. Uh, and when you hear that, oh, there's lots of echo there, then we just notch it the other way. We notch it out like this. Let's, let's do it now. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to brick and mortar business owner. Right, right about there, there's low end echo. That's at 113 hertz. So let's pull that down and we'll reduce it by about 5 dB. In this episode, we... So a lot of the low end echo has now gone. Uh, again, we'll do this. Q width 16 on number two. Push it up and let's play. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to brick and mortar business owner, to culinary school, to launching an online lifestyle consulting academy. Right there, let's pull that one out at 355 hertz. Out you go. In this episode. And then again, we'll do the same with number three, Q width to 16. And we can do this with up to five points if we want in parametric equalizer. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to- There it is, another one to pull out. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's... Let's do it with number four. We may as well do it with all the points here. Uh, it's definitely worth to scan through. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to brick and mortar business owner. Okay, and around about there, I'm also going to pull that frequency out. It's also good to place on a high pass filter as well. It doesn't hurt to get rid of the low end using a high pass filter. So any rumble, background noise, road noise that doesn't need to be there. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to brick and mortar. Okay, so before. In this episode. After. In this episode. Not much of a difference, but a slight difference. We can even move these down a little bit more just to have more of an impact. In this episode, we dive in. Already starting to make a difference. The next thing I'll do before adding uh, our final effect is go into effects, amplitude and compression, and we'll look for dynamics here. Set this to default, and we'll be focusing on the auto gate and the expander. Auto gate is like a noise gate. It opens up when audio goes above a certain level and closes when it goes below a certain level. So the idea is here, we'll be eliminating some of that little echo in between the speech. Let's set this up right now. In this episode, we dive into... Okay, that's way too aggressive because it's clipping his words. So we want to move the threshold down. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to brick and... So right about there, it's still clipping the words. This is where we'll leave attack and release the same, but push the hold up ever so slightly to maybe 40 milliseconds. In this episode, we dive into... Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to brick and mortar business. Okay, let's switch that off and listen to the difference. In this episode, we dive into 
Brandon's entrepreneurial on. journey from high school dropout to brick and mortar business owner. Working really well. You can also do the same with Expander. It's essentially the same as Gate, apart from the fact that it's more of a fader going up and down rather than just a hard cut, open and close. Can be better for dialogue. So let's switch auto gate off and try minus 27.9 on this. You need to push the ratio up a bit for it to work. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout to brick and mortar business owner, to culinary school, to launching an online. And we can use them both in tandem if we want. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey. All right, let's hear how far we've got with just these effects. So this is the echo before. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial. This is the now restored version. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from. And finally, if you want that really easy effect, this is the easy effect you've been waiting for. You can go into effects, noise reduction restoration, and there is actually a de-reverb effect. It's really rather good. And simply it works by an amount, zero to 100%. That's as simple as that. Doesn't get much simpler than that. Uh, so let's crank this up and see what it does to make a difference. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneur. Now, obviously, the higher I push that, the more it's working and the more it's degrading the speech. So we need a sweet spot here, uh, maybe between 30 and 40 percent max, I'd say. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school. There we go. Apply. Done. Now, obviously, afterwards, uh, we can add a little bit of compression. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Amplitude and compression dynamics. Uh, let's set that back to default. Compressor on. Switch the preview window on so we can see the difference it makes. Ratio of three to one, threshold of minus 20. Oh, probably quite a little bit too much there. Let's go up to minus 15, minus 13, just so we're evening out the peaks. Push the makeup gain up. In this episode, apply it. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school dropout. And then back to the echo version. This is the before version. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey from high school. After. In this episode, we dive into Brandon's entrepreneurial journey. from. So as you can hear, not perfect, but a heck of a lot better. So remember those steps. Remember to go through your parametric equalizer, notch those frequencies, remove the echoey frequencies using headphones. Then remember to use your noise gate and your expander inside amplitude and compression dynamics. And finally, as a catch-all, and maybe the thing you should use from the start if you want to just do it quickly and save time, is the noise reduction and restoration and the de-reverb effect. It really is fantastic. <laughs> Music we